So proud of you, Jess, and you'll be back to see your grandma. You'll actually be back sooner than you thought. So the plane lands, and I'm thanking God for making it through my second plane ride safe and sound. I'm feeling like a leveled up, more mature version of myself for facing my fears and traveling alone for my first time. I feel so much better and less anxious now that I got to spend time with my grandma and knowing that she's doing better. But at the same time, I'm reminded of the reality that I have to come back to. And that's how lost I was about what I was doing with my life before I left. Anyway, I go to turn my phone off of airplane mode to let everyone know I made it. And like a reward sent from God for facing my fears, I see a notification from my email that's titled 200 hour yoga teacher training starting in April from a yoga studio that I used to go to last year. First off, I've never even heard of or knew that there was such a thing as yoga teacher training. And as I was reading about it, I had never felt more aligned with something since the feeling I felt when I first got the idea of starting my own YouTube channel years ago. But there was only one problem. The cost. It was way over my budget, especially having missed over a week of work and no paid leave. I was still willing to take a risk though. But... There was one person that I knew I could call who would tell me the truth about what I should do. My grandma. Literally that same day, I wrote a financial plan and then I called my grandma. And you know what she said? She didn't think it would be a good idea to do right now. And I was pretty crushed. I mean, tears and all. And then after coming down to reality after several hours, <laughs> I realized she was right. Great idea, terrible timing. Especially considering I wanted to quit my job. And not because I didn't like it, but because I was number one, underpaid. And number two, I realized how unhappy I was working under someone. And if I decided to do this training, there would be no leaving this job anytime soon. I would have had to ask for weekends off because... Training was only on the weekends. So, anyways, this is kind of a random, but not really, because I've been on a more spiritual path ever since the end of last year. But I just don't talk about it much because it's a very misunderstood topic by the majority. Because there's a ton of misinformation out there about spirituality and most people think it's evil because no one really ever takes the time to do their own research, unfortunately. But all of that is about to change because I realized I know there are a lot of people out there just like me who are on their spiritual path as well or they just want to learn more. And if I never share that part of my life, then I won't ever attract or get to meet the community of people just like me so anyway I thought this would be the perfect time to test out my first oracle deck that I got a while ago to get some extra insight and to see if the message I received would align with my grandma's opinion also contrary to all of the misinformation out there about spiritual practices and spiritual tools such as oracle decks they are literally just a tool that you can use for self-reflection to add to your self-care routines, see your spiritual practices, or just for fun. I mean, who wouldn't want to see how a message or a prediction of something that could or may not happen? But it's just fun, in my opinion. But that's what I use them for. And I learned that from having to learn and do research about them because we sell them at my job. And as a social media marketer, I have to know about each product, service, and class to be able to promote it on social media. Which I'm still learning because there are so many things. And I'm not promoting any of this, by the way. I just wanted to be clear that I've done my research and I always be sure to research things that I don't know about or understand. And you should too. 
what does that mean? I don't know. It's so sad because I really wanted to. Was it thought out? No. I thought it out in one day. <laughs> I need to look at the bigger picture. Is that what you're telling me, Falcon? I need to look at the bigger picture. And right now, although it makes me so sad and sick to my stomach, I just need to work. I need to save and put money aside. And then, after that, I can try to do all the things that I would love to do are huge investments. But right now, while I'm already deep in the dirt, doing something that's going to cost a lot of time and investment on a job that I don't even know. <coughs> oh, excuse me. That I will be staying in is not a strategic move. By not strategic. I'm going to fall in, in, in the fatality <laughs> of the black hole so I need to continue to wander and search for what's the right move and don't be a hypocrite and continue to climb and once I do all of this it'll no no yeah, and don't be a hypocrite. And think about the good, different parts of myself, the logical and emotional part. Not just emotional, because I'm just going off of emotions right now. Me doing the yoga thing will be an emotional thing. <laughs> the logical part of me is like, girl, you're not about to spend $500 every two weeks. And in the moment, throughout the all of this, I need to be gentle with myself. I focus on some self care and be still. Be still with myself. Be intimate with myself. I need some loving. <laughs> some self loving. And in the end, I will be able to overcome this battle that I have with myself. by having a bird's eye view. <laughs> Thinking big, not small. <sighs> I'm still really sad. I would have loved... I mean, I'm 27. It's not over. You know, it's not too late. I can always go back to being a yoga instructor if that's something that I really want to do. <sighs> <laughs> Saturn return. It's about being responsible, right? <laughs> Can't be impulsive or delusional. You have to be boring and responsible. Cheers to the beginning to the long journey of being responsible, being an adult. So this is what I need to do. Don't want to do it, but I guess I'll look back on this. I'm saying thank you to my grandma for knocking some sense into my head. Just got back. 
from a week-long visit to California to see my grandmother, who's currently going, has been going through a lot health-wise, and I needed to go see her. On top of that, it's been transitions and things going on personally. <sighs> and my Saturn return, if you guys know what any of that is. As a newly obsessed astrologer, I'm going to be using astrology terminology. My Saturn return started on the 7th of this month. And when I tell you I've been feeling it. I mean, I've been feeling it before it actually started, but this, the next two to three years for me is gonna be huge. Supposedly, right? <laughs> That's what the stars say. So I guess I'll just document it. I don't know if I'm gonna post it actually on my YouTube channel, cause you know, a lot of you guys probably aren't into astrology and don't know what the heck I'm talking about. And it's gonna think I'm a very like, weird person, <laughs> like my boyfriend, even though he accepts me, but he, I've been annoying him about astrology ever since I started to get super in depth with it. But anyways, maybe this part of the video will go out one day, but um, cheers to Saturn returns, clink. I'm trying to be responsible, that's my position. When I got back home, I immediately had to wash my whole body and my hair. I've been spending the night in the hospital and on a plane. That's literally where I've pretty much lived for a majority of my last week in the hospital, which I so grateful to be there. But I'm just saying like, obviously there's like not showers and stuff that I can use in the hospital. Like I had moments that I was able to shower, but it just was just not, it was like on and off, not consistent. So anyways, I just needed to get home, get clean, Wash my hair mainly because I hadn't washed my hair since I left and now I I just had time to wash it once I got back but I still need to deep condition it. So um, I'm going to be doing that. Today is my first day going back to work. Woohoo. Time to get back to the grind. Um, and yeah, I need to stop talking because I don't need to be late to work anymore. That's another thing we've talked about that I kind of was slacking off on before I left, but I really can't. This is my Saturn return. I have to be responsible and I'm messing up right now because I'm talking to you guys. All right, I'm gonna wash my hair now. <laughs> I haven't worked out in like a month. I have just not been doing things, but this, when I'm, when I'm telling you, I'm not gonna say anything, just watch. Don't believe me, just watch. Oh, maybe I want to put one of my lights on. One second. Okay. Turn the lights off. Ooh. I'm not even telling you a bedtime story. Okay, really, what am I doing? This is what I couldn't wait for to get back on the on the grind. Oh, oh, oh. I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna put it up there since my curtains are gonna be closed and so I'll have it at the top. Okay. Ooh, how cool. It's creepy. Okay, let me focus. Bye. Let's do this here.
just finished yoga class. Today is March something? 19th, I think. I met someone that I connected with and it's funny because she is going to be doing something that I really wanted to do and that's getting her yoga certification. Wow. Life. I did it though. First day back at yoga. One day down, many days the rest of the year to go. Can I do yoga for a full year? Or the rest of this year? Or for like next month? I don't know. I want to challenge myself too though. That was good. I feel good. Okay, I need to stop because people may be looking at me. I freaking kid you not, the next day I was at my job and a lady came up to me because she was looking for advice on which singing bowl to get. And um, singing bowl is like a, a musical instrument that people like to use to meditate with and do a bunch of other spiritual practices. And she was saying that she was looking for one because she had just completed her freaking yoga teacher certification. I can't make this up I mean I can't but I'm not making it up I when I tell you when I tell you I hear you loud and clear God I hear you loud and clear <laughs> oh my gosh I mean if that's not a sign I don't know what is I ended up having a great conversation with her. She ended up exchanging her social media because she was probably going to need help marketing her new services as a yoga teacher. And she ended up giving me the place that she did her certification at. And she was just saying how it was such a great experience. And she would recommend the person who taught it. And all of that was like just so valuable for me. And now I have that and I can use that for when I'm ready to start my journey. I know spirituality isn't for everyone and I respect that, but I know I was meant to find this job so I can learn more about it because I've always loved yoga, astrology, and meditation before I even knew that they were considered spiritual practices. So I'm so excited to be on this path. And most of all, it has really helped me during these tough and uncertain times. And believe it or not, I feel even more connected to God and to myself than I ever have before. This is a part of my life now. Love it or hate it. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but really though, this is me, so. I'm so oily. All right. I don't even know what I'm doing. This is my first time doing this. I want to just call it like a routine that I like to do. New moon routine. I got a cleansing candle. I'm going to have to turn you off. All right, so now I guess I'll pull a card. I'll pull a single card with my Oracle deck. Just for me to kind of figure out what message do I need to know right now. What message? What message do I need to hear? For this new moon? I kind of like to shuffle them like this because I'm so indecisive and I overthink everything. So I feel like my message, the message that I need to hear will just like come out of like fall. And you just fall to the floor whenever it's ready. What message do I need to hear? Does it look like I'm just like scrambling the cards? I'm trying to find the message. Is my head so indecisive? Wow. A lion, a lion, 
That's so wild. The lion. I've never gotten this card before. That is very much Aries energy. That's very creepy. <laughs> Uh, I'm still trying to get used to oracle cards or cards or doing anything that connects with my, like, I don't know, like a higher power or subconscious or anything. It's kind of still, like, freaky to me and I'm still kind of like, I believe it. I mean, it's just like, sometimes I'm like, am I crazy? Let's look at the lion. Lion. If you can convince him to be with you, you will always learn to temper your spurious inclinations and if circumstances demand it, you'll be able to call upon his massive strength and ferocity. But he's not your pet. His noble heart exists to protect the abused and misused and he abhors the cruelty of self-serving authority. The lion has learned to tame the youthful inclinations that once led him to waste his power. Instead, through resolve and self-restraint, he has harnessed his stamina. Merely watching his massive shoulder blades rising and falling like pistons informs you of the force contained within his frame. Noble of heart and slow to stir, the lion is, for the most part, passive. But when provoked, he becomes a formidable force. When rampant, his willing is uncontainable, and he will snap any chains placed upon him as if they were cotton thread. If you are able to convince the lion to accompany you, his presence will give you great security. However, you must never take him for granted. Whilst he will defend you against threat, he is principally there to protect the abused and those oppressed by authoritarian misrule. Hmm. This is where I would need a reader to help me. <laughs> oh my gosh, my boyfriend's about to come in here. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Wanna join? Baby! <laughs> Babe! <laughs> my boyfriend just walked in, smiled at me. And, uh, oh my gosh, this girl's doing her spiritual things again and slowly walked <laughs> in. <laughs> oh, I never thought I would wound up here, you know? It's funny because I always looked at spiritual people like, or people who are connecting with their the spiritual part of themselves or their soul, I guess I would say, as kind of like weirdos. And now I'm that weirdo, even though I've always been a weirdo, so I guess it just fits. And not weirdo in a weird way. Babe, come here. I can't. Why? Because you're doing extra. <laughs> extra stuff. Well, I can tell you that I found out a few seconds ago. Uh, Larry Jen is gonna be here July 8th. <gasps> babe, really? Are we going? Wait, babe, come here. Baby. <laughs> Alright. Alright, so lastly, what I'm gonna do, I don't know why I'm over here acting like I'm a teacher. Lastly, class, <laughs> I think I'm going to journal. Okay, I'm gonna do the journal prompts first and then I'm gonna make my wish and that'll be the completion of my routine. So let me give my So because I'm new to this, oh man. Ah oh, the wait. Oh okay good. I thought my laptop was dead. Alright, so since I'm still learning, I don't really I need a like a guide for some journal prompts, so I'm gonna use I'm gonna go to Alana Alive to help me with some journal prompts. I'm gonna go ahead and leave details for that in the description so you'll know exactly what it is. But yeah, with that said, let's dive into the starting prompts. What aspects of spring, if any, do you look forward to?
just get outside more to get outside more okay i probably should just stop this <laughs> And now, finally, the moment that I've been waiting for and I'm nervous for. Let's set some intentions, baby. This is the... Okay, burn it. I just want to finish this. Hmm. This is me. I'm the number of person you don't want to do. Right now, time to manifest this into reality. Oh gosh. Oh, oh gosh. Oh. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> Does that count? I hope so. Oh my gosh. That was um, not successful, but that still counts. Still counts, right? <laughs> it's still in flame. It's still burned. It doesn't have to rise up, but. Happy new moon! And spring.